What's up, pineapples? Welcome back to my channel. I'll address this in a second. Thought I would come on here and turn on the camera because obviously you guys are probably home. Unless you're an essential worker because I totally get it because my husband is. I figured I would show you guys some quarantine activities, things that I'm gonna do. Uh, this is what made me turn on the camera to be very honest. I get asked all the time. Also, let's just get right into it. Very casual video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you haven't clicked that bell, Click that bell, let's get into it. I'm using the 3D Crest Strips, uh, white strips. I get asked a lot, how do you whiten your teeth? How are your teeth white? Honestly, the first thing that comes to my mind is you brush your teeth, I hope, and then you just floss. Obviously, that's not gonna make your teeth crystal white, but I use a whitening toothpaste. Um, I just started using one called Moon from, uh, you can get at Target. It works really well, it definitely takes away stains. I've noticed a difference just by using it for like uh, two weeks or so and it really brightens actually after a week I noticed like stains lifting from like coffee and stuff But I'm trying this one out. They do have a sensitive one, which I do like whatever I use I always get sensitivity. I was using a kit. It was white with style I think or bright white. I don't know one of those I don't have that kit anymore and I used it But I haven't whitened my teeth this year and I don't whiten them like all the time I'll probably do like a couple treatments like in the beginning of the year or so and then maybe towards like the middle or tail end but yeah I'm trying this one out uh, first day trying it out so I'll let you guys know how I feel about it the sensitive ones I like hopefully I don't get too sensitive with this one don't try the one hour the one hour ones those ones literally make your teeth so sensitive one thing that I know a lot of people are thinking about is wow my nails look like shit trust me me too it's not a priority obviously but if you have the time to do a mani which I think a lot of you do have you know some time extra time on your hands right now we can do them I have powder on I just started doing it this is only my second time doing powder and I absolutely love it my nails are really nice and strong and have grown nice and long they are grown out so I'm just gonna do like a quick little trick that I do I've done it for so many years some people may call it gross or ugly or whatever for me it gets the job done it's not like I'm that picky during a time like this I'm just gonna take a nail file and just start shaping my nails but I hear my dog barking hopefully you guys are doing good and staying safe and are inside and just following the rules not be out and all of that I still see like a lot of people hanging out with their friends and stuff and honestly that's not really like quarantine. Just to be safe and sorry I wouldn't even gather with like other people because they've been around. It's okay it's under 10 so then you have like they're like hanging out with six people and then they come over to you and then they hang out with like six more and it's just like you see what I'm saying? It's just not it's not a good look. I saw someone on my Facebook and they're like I know I'm gonna get crap for this but I'm just gonna put that. Quarantine does not mean hang out with your friends. Quarantine does not mean to gather with some of your friends. Quarantine does not mean to, like they just repeated it. It's such a small sacrifice to just come together. Very small sacrifice. I ended up like seeing some video or whatever from people in Miami and what's so crazy, I was actually supposed to go to Miami May 9th through 12th for a batch. And we obviously had to cancel everything. There was a video going on and like people were like, oh, well, I, I get it. I don't care. This is my spring break, all of that. Like people are blowing it out of proportion. I'm like, wow, people are like passing away from this and you think it's being blown out of proportion? Wow. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Like that's all I'm really gonna say because it is like everywhere and we wanna have a good time and try to relax and just, whew, just zen ourselves out. Let me know down below what you guys have been doing during this time. I've been organizing my beauty room, which is amazing. Just organizing the house. We've been just, de we deep cleaned it all day like the other day. Playing with my dogs. Dogs get so much attention anyhow, but I have seen like a lot of memes where people are so happy uh, or dogs are so happy because their owners are home. So since I work from home, it's a little bit easier for my dogs. So like I said, they're just straight spoiled. Yeah, now they're, now they're even more spoiled. Also a little tip. This is what I personally do whenever I have these on like this one to recommend 30 minutes I put them on for maybe like about 25 um, For some reason I never go the full length because I feel like that kind of helps me sensitivity wise I'm gonna wipe down my nails. I usually have like a little sprayer. I don't know what happened, but just with some alcohol Okay, that was like way too much. That was a big mouth so I'm just gonna wipe down my nails to ensure that they're nice and clean. There's no like dirt or grime. I mean, all of us have been washing our hands. Since I have these little hearts, oh, it came right off. It literally flicked right off. I'm just gonna take them. Oh, wow, that one was easy too. See, I have like a little holographic heart right there. I'm literally just like peeling it off. Oh, wow, okay. Well, probably won't get those anytime soon. There is already gel polish on right now. I think she did like a clear coat on top. So I have the CND shellac. Oh wait, let me take this off. What the heck? Okay. Jesus. Yeah, I can already tell a difference in just the 25 minutes. 
it. If you don't have a gel kit at home, honestly, my trick is to take glitter nail polish, specifically these ones. These are so good because you don't need to double up any coats really. I see nail polishes that have glitter in them. So basically what I do, this is what I intend on doing. You take the glitter and you place it at the base and you build it up until you have a gradient and you cover up your outgrown nail. I did a video on this like so many years ago, so I'm basically recreating it. On that video, I got like lots of comments, like looks like trash, that's ghetto, that's gross, that's tacky. It does the job, like it doesn't look so bad in person. Since I have gel and I want this to last long, I'm gonna go right into the top coat. Let's do a thin coat and now I'm gonna take this glitter right here. I don't remember where I got this glitter. Uh, you can get them from different craft stores and there's like a bunch of them, but I like this one because it has like different sizes. I'm just gonna take this random BH brush. I just use brushes that aren't too expensive and it's just like a flat head brush right there. And I'm gonna dip it into the glitter, start building it on the nail. Okay, this is probably like not the easiest way to film it, but see how I have that growth right there? I'm just gonna start at the base right here and then just start covering it just like that. I'm just gonna start pushing the product into the clear base and there you go. You basically clean up that growth. So it's very simple. You just place the glitter and now you don't see your growth. Very easy. I mean, you don't have to do this. I know some people are maybe cringing right now, but who cares? It's very simple, cheap to do. You just need a nail polish or if you have a gel kit already, just use your gel kit and glitter. Super easy just to do it yourself. This isn't really the time to be like super picky and do like little DIY crafts, why not? I've been organizing, I've been like getting all my stuff together and it's been so good. I also plan on just going through my closet, just like going through all my clothes and seeing what I really don't need. Here are my nails, very simple, just for right now, you know, it's not perfect. I mean, if you don't wanna do it, no big deal, but I know a lot of people will enjoy this tip. Now with all our hand washing and all our sanitizing, etc., I don't know about you guys, but my hand sanitizers have been completely making my hands super, super dry. I didn't realize how dry they were until one day I put on hand sanitizer, my hands were basically burning where they were red all the way around like right here so the other day I happened to find a hand mask in my mask drawer and I was so happy you have no idea so I have these two masks right here and I already used it but inside is kind of like a cloth paper I guess to like keep the you know the goodness that was inside the mask uh, but I decided to hold on to these and just repurpose them because my hands were completely clean when I put them in and all the product is completely gone. So I figured I'm gonna keep reusing these. I ended up ordering some gloves online on Amazon. If you guys are wondering about shipping, they are shipping things that are more of a priority. So my hand masks, they were pretty cheap. I'll go ahead and link them down below because my hands were really bad, you guys. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have like a little snack. Um, I'm gonna have some halos because What's the difference between a halo and a cutie? Because I bought halos uh, the other day. Well, not the other day, last week. I have two halos here. I'm gonna have like a quick little snack. Have you guys been snacking like crazy? I feel like everybody has. And it's so funny because I've heard so many people like make memes saying, if my girl doesn't know how to cook after this, there's something wrong. Or if any of y'all don't come out like chefs, it's so funny, some of the memes. And yeah, Wow! I almost dropped my halo. You guys already know whenever I Film a video, I always drop some things. Now, I have the Burt's hand cream right here and I've been using Burt's and Bees. Oh, just almond and milk. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on the back of my hands right here. My hands are so bad and it honestly was hurting really bad, like burning. And it made me kind of concerned because my hands turned really red. And it's just because I'm trying to be so cautious, especially because I take care of my mom and she's like 87 years old. She's my grandma and she's the one who raised me, but she's my mom and she's 87. So it's really scary. So I have to be very careful around her because I'm the one who's been getting all her groceries and doing things for her. So I make sure I wear a mask around her when I bring her stuff. Oops, I should have opened this ahead of time, shoot. So I have this Physicians Formula Oil. It's a Bright Booster Oil Elixir. Yeah, I've been using this because I haven't been using this oil that much. So I've just been doing this and getting the oil and it is organic, so it's soft on the hands. And I highly suggest to do a DIY mask because my hands were already like dry to begin with because I've honestly realized I'm a mini germaphobe already, uh, I guess. I've finally discovered it. So I was always using hand sanitizer, washing my hands. So can you imagine like now? So now I'm just gonna take the glove and just put it on. And I'm just gonna relax. Sit here with my gloves for probably like about 
15 minutes because that's how bad my hands are. Also, I know so many people have been on Netflix. These guys didn't know. My friend Anissa told me that All American is finally on Netflix and I am so happy because if you guys don't know, All American was on Netflix and then you had to go to the WB like app or whatever or have the have the channel and I never like recorded it. I never got the WB app. So I was just like, okay, well, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna watch it because I'm someone where like I don't have to have to have to like watch all of that. I mean, I did really enjoy it, but if it's not gonna be like on Netflix, I don't wanna like download any more like TV or apps or anything like that. So now it's on Netflix. So I'm finally starting the second season and I am so happy. So yeah, uh, let me know down below any suggestions of movies. Uh, I saw the Gabriel Fernandez trials and honestly that did not make me feel good and it made me so sad and angry and upset and oh that one was just a roller coaster of emotions. Also in another video what I'm going to be doing is my skincare routine. Do go like through a whole like facial and all of that I'm just going to show you how I like self pamper this window. I'm sure you guys have dry hands. Make sure you guys are moisturizing and just take care of the integrity of your skin because that was not fun having cracked skin and it like so red. Okay, also announcement. If you guys didn't know, I have a vlog channel. Now I haven't been active since Vlogmas. I know um, there's so much going on. You guys already know the deal with that. But I started vlogging again, so go check it out. I just finally did my first recipe. I did locomoco, very, very simple. You actually might have the ingredients at your house right now. I know things are pretty like not everybody has everything, but you just need beef, a uh, packet for gravy, or you can make the gravy from the beef, uh, rice. Uh, if you have mushrooms, that's great. If you have onions and then an egg, that's it. So go check out my vlog channel. I did a local moco on there. I'm gonna do all my cooking videos, simple meals and regular vlogs on that channel. I'm just gonna keep it all in one. I did make an announcement on my Instagram that I was gonna have like a cooking channel and all that. Honestly, I don't wanna separate it, start all over and like kind of, it's just too much. So I'm just gonna keep everything on that channel. And I'm really excited. Like I'm very happy to start vlogging again. I got a new camera. I got a Sony a6400. I have my mic and everything. And yeah, it's been good so far. Um, so go check out that channel and that's something else you can do. Okay guys, so I probably had the mask on for like about 15 minutes, uh, maybe like 18 minutes or so. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. And I'm gonna reveal, ooh, look at that. Moisturized hands. If you guys would have seen my hands the other day, see, you could still see some redness. See, it was really bad, especially this hand. It was, see, you can still kind of see it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it was, really bad and I've never had such cracked hands before. So yeah, I just wanna make sure that you guys are moisturizing your hands because I, all I was thinking about, clean, 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 be careful, be careful, be careful, and that was it. So I'm so happy that now they look normal again. I know this isn't like priority, but it's nice to like always like kind of pamper yourself. Maybe you can like do your mom's nails, your sister's nails, your aunt's nails, maybe your brother's nails, whoever wants to get their nails done, but yeah. All right, guys, well, that is it for today's video. Uh, just be safe out there. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go change right now and actually go work out because I told myself I have to get back on my health. I haven't been diligent on working out and this is definitely the time to do that. So yeah, all right, guys, I love you pineapple so much. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you. It's all about me, it's all about what we do. Making art, you and me Trying to find something to